How's it going, everybody? This is me, Quaker DX, and I'm back with another gameplay video. And today, joining me is a friend of mine. Uh, say, introduce yourself, man. What's up, everybody? Swatring here on the mic once again. Yes, well, indeed. Once the, again. The but... first time on my channel. <laughs> yep. All right. You can see my screen, right? Well, right. Uh, yeah, we're all good. All right, good. So today. We're going to be playing Sonic Mania Hell of Green Hill Zones, I think. Either that or it's called something else, but that's what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is a Sonic mod I ran into, and I was thinking, yeah, this is the perfect thing for me to play. And, yeah. Woo. But yeah, in this one, we're going to be, uh, oh, what the heck is Knuckles doing there? Hold on. I pressed something I wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> he exited out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it back on track. Hold on. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is just how we wanted this call out to start, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We're keeping this in. This is great. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now it should be functioning just right. But now, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> A little technical difficulties there, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, sound test credits. Micro beach int int intro. Don't ground pound. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, we're gonna be we're gonna be playing this as as Sonic, and let's get this let's get this show on the road. Uh. uh okay. Ooh. Hey, look, that's a little cutscene. That's nice. <laughs> Aww. Ah, the master of no. What else is new? What in the world? <laughs> okay, he just warped us into subspace. What the Oh, uh, that. I want the Master Emerald back! <laughs> when did he get that? <laughs> anyway. Oh, now he's messing. And now he's, uh, stripping the game of all of its textures. Oh, uh -huh. gosh. Frick! This is, actually, this, is actually, this is actually pretty cool. I like this. I like this a lot. And now it yeah. warped us into another. into another time. So what? And we and we got points for it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and an extra life too. Not sure what we did, but uh, hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> Yo. Ah! You hear you hearing this music, man? And also, man, I gotta say, this is. This is bad. This this thing's pretty. This uh, game's pretty pretty. Yeah, I agree. It almost looks like something I'd see from Sonic CD. Yeah, I think, I think I think these are uh, used backgrounds from CD. Like, um, I forgot the place. Metallic. No, 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 no. Some pl wacky uh, workbench. Quart no, not wacky workbench. The wacky workbench has all those bounce pads. It's Quartz Quadrant, I think. Yeah. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, it's Quartz Quadrant. You got you, you got that right. My gosh, this, this this place looks cool. Looks clean. That's that's the thing I like about these Sonic Mania fan games. Sometimes these backgrounds are like mm, they're just tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I can just like man. Yeah, you can take these in. That's for sure. Oh look, we got ourselves. Yo, oh, no! another transition. <laughs> it just did a day to evening transition. I love those. Mhm. Mm ah yes. What the heck? What the? <laughs> okay, Wait, <what>? um. <laughs> that happened. And it's okay. And it's still it's still evening on my on on this end. Hold on. What the what the what the heck is wrong with that tree? <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> that's, that's just like a little minor detail I noticed, I guess. Oh, yo, this thing is pretty. This this fan game is pretty nice. 
I'd say so. I think the music is kind of groovy too. Yeah, man, it's giving me that. Mm, it's it's a uh, <laughs> it's giving me a it's giving me a low key Michael Jackson vibe. I can I can already hear the gas and the chicka chicka and all that stuff. So basically, Sonic Three. <laughs> kind of yeah. Basically, Sonic Three. Though you know, I I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't think I heard any. I don't think I got any Michael Jackson vibes from the Sonic Three soundtrack. Then again, I'm, then again, I'm, I also heard that they did have Michael Jackson work on it, but you yeah, know, he did. Yeah, he, I mean, did, he, he did, but they they scrap they scrapped the they scrapped the ones that, most of the ones that he did because like you know they didn't want to be involved with him after all the all the drama going on in his life. They didn't want to. Uh, yeah, let's. <laughs> right. I guess having Michael Jackson in the credits isn't the best thing, so they kind of like took out a lot of his stuff. At least that's what it I. It wouldn't look great for op. It wouldn't look great for optics. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, because I I remember that he they kept a. I remember somebody saying they kept a few, but uh, you know. Ooh. Boss fight. No. Ooh. You know what? Ooh. Getting boss the store. Ooh, check out that mm, the music. <laughs> Is this a boss, or is this just a new area? I, I guess it's Act 2, the music's different. <laughs> I think Act 2 would have said, you know, here's Act 2. Yeah. <laughs> then again. I, hmm. Uh-oh. What in the world? Okay, there we go. Let me just go ahead and... Woohoo! This means like ear candy, my goodness. That's the that's the thing I just love about every most Sonic like, installments. There's always a guarantee that there's gonna be a jammer in there, my gosh. Yeah, I agree. And I even after playing up through all of Persona 5 and most of Royal and loving their soundtrack. Nothing really beats a good Sonic soundtrack, even if there are individual games that no! I think can top it. Tasty! I do think Sonic usually does have a very good soundtrack, even when the games themselves aren't necessarily the greatest. Usually yeah. I walk away thinking the soundtrack, yeah, that was nice. Exactly! Also, look at these things. That oh, we can bounce off them. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Look at that. Yeah, those mm. looks like those things from Pityopolis Act 2, I think, where you can... Chris. Bounce off those light bulbs. Was that Studio I think it was Studiopolis Act 2. When you're, I think you're going through the studio itself. I think so, actually, yeah. No, aren't, I think those are the lampposts that just you stand on and they crumble. One of those. But they admit. I just, I just feel like they were in Studiopolis. I don't know yeah. where they were. I just feel like they were there. It's Mirage Saloon. Mirage Saloon had the light bulbs. Cause I remember, right, 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 right. I think I remember yep. the sound it made. Yep. Yep, you're right. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying this music way too much. Listen, the thing about me, whenever I listen to music, I just can't stay still. My, <laughs> I'm, I'm over here bobbing my head. Uh, oh, I get that. That's me every time I encounter a game with a groovy soundtrack. I can't stop bobbing my head. Like, you should see me every time I play P5R, I just keep bopping my head or just <laughs> jamming into the lyrics of some of these songs. <laughs> huh. And that's the case here, with a lot of these Sonic soundtracks. I can't help but get groovy, you know? Yeah. And speaking of which, uh, you y'all should, uh, this is a little bit of an early advertisement, but yeah. Uh, t t tell us a little bit about your content, man. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Eh, just, you know me, I'm not, I'm new to the YouTube business, I've just, I just started off with a game and NLP that I thought a lot of people would like, Persona, Persona 5 Royal. I mean, I've been... Ever since I played the vanilla version, I think this point last year, and it wasn't too long after that, Royal was announced, I think. I got, may have got my timeline wrong, but you get the point. I I was on board, and I have to get my hands on the game. I love it. And I decided, you know what, let's just you know, do an LP of it, just to... I can show my experiences with Royal, even if, you know, a lot of other gamers are oh, <laughs> <scared me. laughs> more known, 
more well known than myself. But um, yeah, I've done an LP on, on Royal. I decided not to do the new content simply because it's the new content, and I think people themselves should go see the new content for themselves instead of having other YouTubers broadcast it for themselves. Then again, but you know, well, what the heck is the what the heck are the bubbles doing? Yeah, that was, they're giving you a new path upwards. What does it look like they're doing? <laughs> no, they're like moving all over the place. I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> Yo, look at all these like studio lights. Act three? Or, or, or just this boss? You're at two, you're at two boss. Ah, oh my gosh. Yeah, this looks like those Mirage Saloon boss. Yep. But yeah, as I was saying, I was doing an LMP on P5R on my channel. I'm still gonna do it, although I'm gonna be done with that pretty soon. I think I may move on to some other content afterwards. Um, I'm just not sure yet. On, what are you planning on doing? I don't know. Um, maybe other games, um, other collabs. Again, we'll have Didn't to see. But we'll, we'll have to see what happens. And it may not. And I don't think it's just gonna be like a gaming channel either. I think it may do various topics. Um, sports or other topical things that may that may come up. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Again. Right. You lost your. I lost that one ring. I was trying to make a dash for it, but apparently. I just wait. There are no checkpoints. Uh, there is. I, I kinda. I didn't pass one, but I, I definitely didn't go all the way back to the beginning, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Out of the hard-boiled heavy bosses, this one's my... I wouldn't say it's my least favorite, I think it's a... It was the most annoying. Yeah, it's a... If you didn't have the... If you didn't have the... If you didn't have the Chaos Emerald to go Super Sonic, this was just annoying. No, not annoying as in difficulty, kind of like in, like, you can't combo hit this guy, I'm like, ah! You gotta wait for yeah, the it's change not, in the dresser. Not, not, I think Sonic Mania like 10 times at this point. I don't think I've really found a boss by particularly difficult. Some were more annoying than the others, sure, but none of them were hard. And you lost your ring. Yep, I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> um, at hey, this I, I have not seen a life counter yet, so I might not be that screwed. Remember, forces, they got rid of, they got rid of the life counter, forces, remember? Whew. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I think it was that time they got rid of the life count. Yeah, the life count adds a bit of risk to it. You know, it, it makes it be like, oh, I got this life. I got. I only got one life and stuff. I gotta keep it like under wraps. I gotta be careful. It makes you careful, you know. I it get did. that, but look at what look oh. what look, look what Odyssey did when they got rid of the um. I when guess. Odyssey got rid of the life count, instead of you know having the game tied to lives, they tied it to coins, and every time you died. You lose 10 coins, and those coins were used where you can, you know, give Mario some fancy outfits. Lose huh. 10 coins, that means you can't buy whatever outfit you want from Mario at the particular time, you know? Alright. Well, it seems like that's the end of this fan game. However, I did something special for you all. It's been a while since I made a recording, so I decided to cram in two fan games. Let me just see if I can find it. Uh, be right back. Hey, right, sorry about that. There was a uh, technical difficulties. So I did not know that it was not show showing what was going on. But uh, yeah. Um, uh, like I said, uh, th uh, um, this is a uh, Sonic and Knuckles Neutronic Panic. What the? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Swag Train is still with me. On yeah. system. There we go. Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, but I'm still here. And we just watched this uh, <laughs> intense, intense, flashy intro. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> it definitely gets you awake. <laughs> I like that. Yep. And then after yeah, that, we uh, with a right off the bat. Yeah, then after that, Unless we had our... something you don't really see from Sonic games. You don't really see that sense of urgency okay. a lot from Sonic games, which is something I do miss. Like, yeah. even, when, even with Forces, even if there was a sense of urgency, Forces was just a story I, I couldn't <laughs> even take seriously from beginning to end. It's because it tried to mix in comedy, but anyway, that to that we like missed the- yeah. you, guys, you guys missed this cutscene where Eggman was entering a special stage of some kind, and then we j he just throws us right into Tropical Wilderness Zone, like, 
with this like heckin' heavy guitar. This freak, I could this <laughs> this heckin' eighties style eighties style music, my gosh. And then we and then after that we were like attacked by Porygon with a wing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's about right. But don't worry, you didn't miss much. This is as far as I got before I realized I wasn't recording. But I gotta say, looking, looking pretty slick right now. Pretty tame, actually. Ooh, these, these things teeter. Oh, look at that! I like those little gimmicks. What the? Okay. Oh, yeah, that was my fault. That was. Oh, there's an. Oh, hold on. Alright. Ooh! Ooh, I got these fire. I'm not gonna I, I, I never got a chance to get a look at these kind of these enemies, though. At least the ones that look like little tiny bugs and like little helicopters. My gosh. Yeah, I can't see you. You're not shooting yeah. anything. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> my bad. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there we go. That should that that should fix the problem. There we go. <laughs> this is my first call up. What the heck? Oh. What, what? the heck is this thing? <laughs> what is on the... earth is that? Where is this supposed to be? Oh, gosh. Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Great. This is. Oh, gosh. This boss is very this extreme. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. That should deal with it. <sighs> Woo! De Devil Engine <laughs> Crafted Beast. <laughs> this <laughs> this game is so hardcore that it's very it's it, that it's that's kind of humorous. It's <laughs> like yeah, extreme <laughs> explosions, Porygon. Fire! Oh, I, I, oh. <laughs> come on, man! Oh, there we go. There we go. There we I go. Got myself back on track. <laughs> unlike the last, unlike the last game, I this I, this actually kind of like it's yeah. where like I was kind of like exploring purposefully just to like absorb the atmosphere. This one, I'm just kind of like I gotta go. <laughs> right. <laughs> the sense of urgency is here for sure. Frick! Alright. What the heck? Okay, there's no destroy the wall. What the heck? <laughs> okay! Extreme! Oh god, this is like. What? <laughs> this was just like in rock music. How do I kill you? Frick! Oh, you're hurting yourself. I guess I don't gotta. Ah, oh, god! <laughs> that looks like a homing shot! <laughs> Frick! Okay. <laughs> Every time I see a robot firing missiles, I just get I just get flashback to generations where your friends are like, "That looks like a homing shot." Well, they were exactly over missiles. Again. My goodness, <laughs> this is so extreme. Oh god! Freak. Okay, hit the hit the guy, please. Hit the guy in the head. Or hit yourself, please. There we go. That's the ticket. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, hit yourself again. Oh god, why did I have to spin dash into that? <laughs> Frick! Okay. Ow. Okay, thank goodness I still got rings left. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not mean to spin dash there, but uh. Hey, okay, we're back in tropical wilderness. Let's see what we got. Again. They gotta do this again. What is this thing supposed to be? <laughs> this is really. This is like. Oh, oh gosh. This is actually. This, I will have to admit, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. The rock music just adds to that atmosphere. I'm just like. Mm! Head banging music right there. I agree. Ooh! What's this thing flying to anyway? My goodness. 
gotta say, Eggman stepped up his game when it came to these heckin' robots. They're like, speaking of which, that 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 gets me to question. I've always wondered this. Ah, the frick. Oh, I almost fell. Okay, that 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 lead led me to a question I, I had a while back. I was wondering, you know, in the modern Sonic games, like, uh, you know how like Sonic's moving really fast, and then he has these other robots. Oh, we took it down. So we have he has these other robots that are like able to like keep up with him. You know, like those robots that shoot the lasers and like you know all the Eggman bo bosses and stuff. Oh, there yeah. You go. It's like a. The question I gotta ask is, how much fuel do they burn to keep up with Sonic? It's like, my gosh, if they're going that fast, able to keep up with him and all that stuff, how much fuel do they burn? Like, oh. A lot of fuel. Although, I do think part of that is the developers kind of having to put a cap on modern speed to a certain extent. <laughs> yeah, because if one thing's for sure, I know Eggman ain't the greenest person out there, so he wouldn't be using <laughs> anything reusable. Eh, uh, no. <laughs> No! Oh, I'm in an airship part fleet of, of submarines! A, this is part so of it I do think is a, a cap. <laughs> Continue. No, I'm saying, I think part of it is, is a cap for how fast modern Sonic can go. And trying to create a real balance between boost and platform. And this is just a thing with the modern games in general. I think trying to create the balance between the boosting and platforming. Because I think what we saw early on... I think when the Kurt Boost formula just started, like, Sonic Rush, I think, was the first game that implemented it. And while I love Sonic Rush, and I think it's one of the most underrated Sonic games, Rush is too short, simply because it was mainly just you boosting left, up, down, left, right, all over. I think that was one of the problems, and I think with other games, it's a matter of, yeah, we can have Sonic go fast, but we have to have some of those platforming elements implemented. Yeah. And trying to strike a balance is key. Yeah, plus I think, it was, un I oh. think Unleashed Generations did it the best when oh. it comes to that balance. But you know you're going to have some fans who are like, no, I want the adventure formula. Or others say, no, I want boost. And, oh, wait, what the yeah. Not again. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and that's part of me is why I don't really, like, mind 2D sections. Because the thing is, you got to understand why they implement the 2D sections in the first place. Instead of just like, they just want to tighten the demographic. Oh, gosh, I missed that. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, gosh, another one. Another <laughs> one of these mini bosses before we get to the... What in the world are you? Are like a, a submarine? That's not a submarine, dude. <laughs> it looks I don't like know what that, that is. It's shooting fire all over the place, though. My gosh. This is so intense! <laughs> oh, well, he's dead now. So I don't gotta worry. That was actually a lot easier. <laughs> fell right on me. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Gosh! This game! <laughs> he's a whale. Oh, oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, I got the peel out on this. Ah. Woo! Look at all this! <laughs> I this is so cool! <laughs> the music in the background! It's really fun. It's like. It is groovy, I'll say that. Ooh, and I like that. What the heck? Oops. Alright. Ooh. I like these little, like, piano chord little things that are, like, on the little bottom thing right here. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Right. What the heck? Who are you? Oh, wait. I I feel like these enemies are from like another Sega game I don't know about. They look very. <laughs> uh oh. This looks like a boss. Or yeah. What the? Oh, I hope we got a cutscene for this one. What? Or. Oh, well, hello. Wait, what? <laughs> hello, jet centipede thing. <laughs> what homing shots? Uh that I can't avoid easily. <laughs> well, now I can. What the? Uh, uh -oh. What are you doing? <laughs> uh 
Oh, you go. Oh. oh no, my nose is itching. I cannot scratch. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> of all the things that can prevent you from defeating the boss, it's your nose itching. Can't man scratch his nose? There we go. <laughs> oh, we did it! <laughs> Hooray! We did it, guys. <laughs> we completed the boss. Oh, look, there's metal. Oh, side. wait. There's metal. That's a very ugly looking. Oh, what the heck? Uh, wait, what? There's uh, more? Get, get away from me. Ah! <laughs> What was that sound? That was oh oh yeah th this is yeah this is this is a demo. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> I was too caught up in the extreme to like to like notice. But uh oh, oh okay <laughs> okay. Oh well. Uh, uh, but yeah, I I guess I guess that's it. Um. The, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, make sure to like and leave a comment in the b comment down below, and make sure to subscribe to Swag Train. His link is in the description below. All right, my guy. Yeah. Anything you want to say? Uh, no, not much. Other than the fact, just to check him out at LPMP5R and to like and subscribe. And than that, I don't have much to add. All right. This has been Quaker DX, and I shall be seeing you guys later. See ya. Appreciate it. Later. <laughs>